All right, I'm going to. This is a tutorial on a, a 2008. I released the month of March a BMW E60, and it's not starting. The model was ordered from the dealer, the DME, and the cast. And I'm going to try to read out the ZB number and the VIN number, and then use WinKFP to, to update the VIN number in the DME as well as in the cast. Because uh, let's go. Language variant do not match malfunction possible. No, that's all right. Nothing's gonna happen. Let us read out the uh, user info field. The user info field concerning contain the ZB number, which is the part number, or otherwise called in German Zusam member, and the VIN number for the vehicle. As you can see for this vehicle here, this vehicle here it has roughly. Um, it says that the sign module is not ECU not uh, ECU sub function not supported and so on. All right, as as you can see, this one here at address zero zero here, the central gateway module, the job status of it is okay. The ZB the ZB number has been read by IMPA as that the part number, and then the VIN number is different from the VIN number of the vehicle, and then we have also the SZL and so on. This one here, it reads out the ZB number and also the VIN number, the last seven digits of the VIN. This one is not correct because this is not the original VIN of this uh, BMW. The original uh, VIN number for this BMW would be in the EGS module, which is number 18, address 18. And it says OK here in terms of job status. And it has the part number, which is a ZUSA member number. And it has the real VIN number C445948 and so on. And the last time it was uh, updated, it was on the 16th of December, the 12th. December is 12 here and um, 2009. And okay. All right. Our problem is that we should look for the, for the DME and the CAS. As you can see here in address number 12, where my cursor is at, DME. Um, is not reading the, Z, uh, the, the, the ZB number is not being read from it, so I'm going to add a ZB number uh, for this one. And also, um, I'm going to also add the, um, the VIN number for it because it's not being read from the DME that we have ordered from the dealer. So I have to use WinKFP to add it there, and so on and so forth. And as I can see, the EKP, the fuel pump, the ZB number is being read, but there's not a VIN number, so I have to put the VIN number here as well. And EGS. Um, is okay and we have another VIN number here that is different on the VGS SG and another RDC here which is a tire pressure and monitoring sensor this VIN number is not recognized I'm going to have to add all of these VIN numbers to these models and so on and so forth so I really actually has um, I actually have one module which is the DME at address 12 to basically add the Zusa member number, the ZB number to it, and then also I have to add a VIN and do an update with it, update programming, and then, well, it should be okay. And, um, well, I'll change the relative VIN number for the other models that are identified in WISE. Alright, so we have roughly, how many of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 modules in Y. We have the Climber model, and we have the SZM. And we have the ISVB, and we have the telephone, MULF, and we have also the RDC, the VIN number is not being recognized. Also with that, of the EKP, I have to add this VIN number for this EKP pump to run with the CAS on the DME, so I have to add actually uh, three stuff. Alright, so this is M for here. Um, I want to take a snapshot of this thing here, because I really want to result back. Alright, I take a snapshot of that one and um, basically doing this one here as I ought. Oh, Alright, let me fuck up my phone. I'm doing a video tutorial. It's recording behind you. You can stay. You know, you know, see, it's uh, just a little pop. 
All right, so let us go back here. Okay, Eric, let me see what is it. I'm trying to call Kizik. Keep asking me for username and password. All right, so let us minimize this thing here. I think I've um, spent about two minutes idling away. So um, I have to take a picture of this because I want to basically put these. Um, Yeah, I want to basically put in the number here. All right, I take a picture of it with my phone. So basically, put let us uh, close down. Let me read out the arrows here. Read arrow. And uh, we're going to see a ton of arrows. See that the SZL has basically um, 12 errors stored, and the ZGM are roughly two occur different times. At and so on and so well we go to DMA. DMA have 15 error codes so basically put up here is these and um, hopefully the EKP no store code the fuel pump is okay but the VIN number is not being read for it and the EGS I don't know of, uh, the BMW DME is supposed to and the CAS supposed to recognize but somehow Central body electronics VBE KBE. All right, let us clear the clear error memory. Hey, let me keep. Let me print out a copy. Let me save a copy of this. I need this error memory here to be stored to be saved. Keep a copy of this thing. It has the argument. It has the command for um, this thing. Oh man, that's take too long. Print. BMW guys, I'm don't. You know, I wanna erase these codes, but uh, alright, let's see. If I clear these codes here, clear our memory. I said the cast, the cast does not respond. So all right, I'm gonna flash this and hopefully it respond. Let me read out the, let me read out the UI block again. Okay, same thing here, same thing. So roughly. We have the DME. Alright. 
I have a ton of modules to program here by flash. Alright, time to lock down this. Alright, time to open a WinKFP here. Go in comfort mode. Let me see if I can make this a bit larger here. Comfort mode here. And then we go to update Zeus a member. And then we're gonna go for the cast module. I think cast 2 is on this thing here. A, B, C, D. Hey, wait a minute. Cast 2 or cast 3? I can't remember. Cast 2 or cast 3? Alright, I think it is a cast 3 or cast 2. Let me check again. This is it right here. It's cast. Order number C4. It really does not tell me anything much about um Alright, let me let me let me see if I can use um MSD eighty order number zero zero. Alright, let me see if I can minimize that one. I see I just can tell. Let me see if it's cast two or cast three. I see somewhere before when it was cast three. Let me turn that off. Let me run back impa here. Let me go on E60 again, functional jobs. Alright, and let me go in user info field. Let me go in here. Go in ID. Alright, so all of these, um, roughly, we have the ZGM OK, we have the part number here. And um, where's the VIN? Part number here on the ZGM. Alright, the cast module would be here. The part number would be here. But I need to know cast what? What are we looking for? Cast 9 RDC 4. I, th I saw it somewhere. I think it is on the box here. I think it would be on this cast. Yeah, cast three. Yeah, this is cast three. I look under the box and cast three. So I think, um, yeah, the cast three. It's cast three. So let me take a picture of this one here because I need all of these. Okay, I think I get all of it. Let me take another picture because something was left out. All right, let me go back here. Copy them over to my thumb drive. Copy this over to this. And uh, I name it here. What did I name it? Dbot. No, I name it something here, right here. So, overwrite that one. <sighs> okay, replace all the files there. I need those pictures later on. To look at, so, okay. Alright, so I take a picture of that one. So, it's clear that the, I don't see the V number here. It told, it told me the SGBD. Um, for the cast would be uh, cast is D cast that's a, that's a group name and the SGBD that's a control module name would be that one and so on and so forth. Let me look for the DME because I need to find this one. The MS, MSV80 it uses and it's the D for motor. The group is motor and the part number is 760 much much that. I wonder if I can minimize this and open WinKFP. I wonder if it will allow me to use the server. I don't know, let me try. Update Zusa member. And uh, cast three, here's it. That should come back and highlight the buttons in black if it connects to the car. If it gives me an error, it is because Impa takes the server and it does not allow me to go through with it. It takes long though. Uh, 
yeah i know i know i know i know i know it's interface and like i said the interface failure i know it's because of um like i said i was right on this one i have to close info to close this one oh it said functional address let me look on this functional address all right let me let me let me let me cancel that one all right let me close this one here sorry about that and uh let me go right up let me try NCS Expert. Let me see if NCS Expert read out this thing here. Ref exit. Let me see if it um that one trace that load profile, save changes. So expert mode is Okay, it read out the VIN number as that. I don't know why it gives me a wrong VIN number here. See that? The VIN number is wrong. In this, let me see. According to what this read out. It, what the fuck? Rain? So, process ECU, code here, listen. Okay, it was read the last time. Let us read the cast. Okay, job name is code release and which is to say read. Let us execute the job. Code it ended. Let us go into let us change. Let us let us go back here and change. Change that. Let us read out the DME. Oh the DME is not allowed it to be coded. No, the DME is not allowed to be coded. It's just other body modules. And the MULF2. Okay, so well, let us close NCS Expert and let us open WinKFC. Um, 